All right, so looking over everybody's quizzes, I wanted to go over a couple of the challenges with some of the formulas. And I wanted to go back to kind of some of the old school format. So let's start with the easiest one over here, velocity equals distance over time. In this unit, this only works if there's constant velocity. It's the only time you can use this formula. Super important. Because some people think, oh, I want I need to find initial velocity. I'll just do distance over time. Well, that's not your starting velocity. This only works if you're finding your kind of always velocity or constant. These three formulas we use when velocity is changing. If objects are speeding up and slowing down. That's why we have a different starting velocity than we do finishing velocity. So this one you only use with constant velocity, and this is only true in x motion. Velocity in the x equals displacement forward divided by time. So that's the only time you use this formula. For this formula, well, distance kind of depends on which way that we're moving. Because what we're doing is we're breaking up the components of motion. Is it the up and down motion that we're looking at, or is it side to side? So we might just say, well, this is your y final equals y initial plus velocity y initial times time plus one half up and down acceleration, acceleration the y times time. So you kind of have to look at this as like all of these things need to be the same. If you're looking at up and down motion, you need to use the up and down velocity and the up and down acceleration. So when we look at this problem right here, something's flying off a cliff at 20 meters per second. That is side to side motion. You cannot put this here because this version of this formula is using up and down distance and up and down acceleration. So this is velocity in the x direction and it can never be combined with all these other y components. So that's a common mistake. All the components need to match. This formula could just as easily be x final distance in the x x initial plus velocity in the x initial times time plus one half acceleration in the x times time squared this might be used for like a drag race car but when we're talking about projectile motion this is always true Anytime we're looking at the forward components, we use these. Over here, it could just be velocity final and velocity y final equals velocity y initial plus acceleration the y times time. Velocity in the y final squared equals velocity in the y initial squared plus 2 times acceleration the y times your change in y displacement. So that's how all of these formulas work. The key concept is the components have to be matching. If you're using negative 9.8, that's your acceleration, the y, then you also have to use up and down velocities. You cannot compare negative, combine negative 9.8, let's say forward velocity off the cliff. They're different components. The components need to be the same. So that's a kind of review of the final and initial and using the y displacement and the y acceleration.